Hello there guys, uh, in this video we'll be looking at uh, what causes an inefficient DAC work system so by the end of this video uh, you'll learn what makes an inefficient DAC work system and what can be done to increase the DAC work efficiency as mentioned before, uh, DAC work is uh, one of the components of a building HVAC system which is uh, essentially batteries that move here throughout a living space or a building without proper size and an installation deck work even the most efficient components cannot maximize comfort and save energy costs that's why it's vital to identify problems in existing deck work and plan out the most efficient labyrinth of deck work in a new installation Efficiency or thermal losses in deck work generally can occur when heat decks are not insulated properly especially if decks are routed through unconditioned spaces such as attics and crawl spaces so through the use of insulation with appropriate R value for an application so conduction of heat or cold from the deck wall can be avoided so the next thing yeah, we need to consider is air flow restriction uh, which is a major cause of uh, inefficiency in deck work and there are many causes of uh, restrictions uh, which can generally result in lower uh, system efficiency that causes the system works uh, harder and longer to condition the space uh, therefore the improper shape and diameter of deck the poor design of the system uh, improper installation and poor insulation are all factors in inefficiency of uh, the deck work system so whenever we suspect an inefficiency airflow uh, problem in the deck work system uh, therefore our solution to the problem might be by correcting uh, one of these defects which has been mentioned below uh, such as uh, poor insulation, uh, poor connections, poor balancing, uh, improper decks, support, oversized systems, uh, campers system, undersized system, uh, leaky in the system, uh, too many restrictive deck fittings, uh, too many elbows, uh, too many brand decks that are too long uh, all pinch pines across the flexible uh, deck system uh, improper flexible deck suspensions and all components such as uh, filters, blowers, uh, registers and etc. Uh, so leaky decks or connection that uh, come apart uh, can cause negative pressure in the living space and can pull in outside hair or contaminants into the hair stream so deck work which is not uh, stretched out tightly and has uh, extreme bends and kinks can have the same uh, effect as uh, undersizing uh, deck work and causing poor system performance so the next thing to consider is uh, improper support of a flex deck ran which is uh, most likely the most uh, common mistake and without proper support uh, condition here does not properly flow in a flex deck uh, installation so flex decks uh, offer a much faster installation than the hard deck but during the installation uh, common practices are required to boot systems uh, so let's say the system we design uh, loses uh, 15,000 uh, BTUs of heat as the air uh, moves uh, through the supply and return uh, that system so uh, we can say this might be due to the effects of uh, defects uh, which is uh, just being mentioned or let's uh, think of it this way 
15,000 BTUs of uh, heat loss uh, divided by 60,000 uh, BTUs so multiply by 100 equals 25 percent of uh, heat loss so we have a loss of uh, 25 percent uh, BTUs so within the DAC system and this means the DAC system is uh, only 75% uh, uh, efficient at best. So these uh, uh, losses uh, could be due to inadequate uh, insulation, uh, restriction of undersized deck and feedings or transitions with uh, resistance to the flow. The other thing to consider is uh, here as we can see uh, from the green circle line uh, in the design the helmet air flow directly strikes the sharp turns that are present in the system uh, which can cause uh, an increase in the static pressure the sharp turns uh, cause a large amount of uh, recirculation regions uh, within the decks preventing the air from moving uh, smoothly and the T section at the end of the main deck uh, causes the air to suddenly divide and change direction so there is a high amount of uh, backflow here uh, which can again increase the static pressure and reduce the amount of uh, air delivery and the high velocity in the main deck uh, which is uh, caused by the sharp turns and sudden bends uh, reduce the flow into the branches on the left and right side of the system. So that's it for today. I appreciate you for watching this video.